Hello everyone, now let me introduce the UHT sterilizer for you. This sterilizer is a 10 ton per hour product designed for juice sterilization. Step 1. Let's look at the feed mode, which is fed by this feed tube. Be sure to close this valve after feeding. Otherwise, it's going to drain away and cause damage. Then the second step, we will introduce this cooling water. For the external air cooling, we can half open. You don't add water to the outside air. The outside air will burn out. Then the water from this external engine can be used to provide water to the vacuum pump. The next step, then, is to introduce this acid lye. When we do the cleaning, we have to make sure we have a bucket of lye and a bucket of acid. So the cleaning will be successful in one step. Then, we will introduce the boot method of this machine. We start with an emergency stop, we open. It takes a while to turn it on. Our machine is controlled by PLC, a fully automatic sterilizer. Then we turn on the machine and enter the password. Username US. Password 48. Then press enter to confirm. You can select Chinese and English and then select Chinese. This is our interface. We have the order in place. Then we start disinfection. Then production. Production is over. CIP cleaning. And then it goes straight to shutdown. In this way, our production task for today is over. If we look at this side, we have a steam heating system. This is the steam stop valve. There's a steam blowdown valve over here. The function of the steam blowdown valve is to say that the steam main valve is open. The mixed distilled water in the steam is drained into the ground. It will not cause damage to the reducing valve or regulating valve. And here we have a two-position four-way valve. The purpose of this valve is to discharge material under the condition that the temperature and liquid level are qualified. The filling machine does not have any problems. It takes the material out here to be filled. This place is a CIP valve. In the case of normal shutdown, the valve can be opened to clean the plastic pipe. And then this is how it feeds. This is its feed pipe, and then after it goes in, then the first section is heated, this section is insulated, and then after the heat recovery, it cools. For cooling, there is a proportional valve, proportional valve to control the outlet temperature, and this section is its reflux cooling. It is divided into four parts. Let's take a look at the back. There is a degassing switch valve here, and this valve will cut off the degassing inlet and outlet line when it is in action. You don't have to degas. Then this position is a T-shaped valve. The role of this T-shaped valve is to give the homogenizer or bear the role of safety valve. That is to say, if the discharge pressure is too high, the spool will automatically pop open. Then it will not cause pressure, so as to protect the safety of the device. That's all for today. Bye.